All right. We saved Urshly and Leon from a cruel, controlled by a parasite fate. Now, no idea how this thing works. The important thing is that we're still alive. Yeah, I mean, no more tumbugs. <laughs> The fact that he says that out loud is just kind of like one of those things where it's like, if you have no idea how it works, then how the fuck did it work? How did you get, how did, you know what, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't even fucking matter at this point. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go this way. Which is this way? Yeah. All right, Urshley. Wait, 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 hold on, what the fuck? There was this, yeah, there's a, there's a big obvious green button and you just push it and it's like, no more problem. Humbug, go bye bye. Oh, my goodness gracious, another. Our mission. The real power of the United States lies in three areas. The Justice Department, the administrative bodies, and the military. In order to take control of these areas, we must influence the minds of the people who advise the president. After this is done, the rest of the departments will quickly fall under our sway. If by chance the United States were to figure out our plan, our, the damage caused should be minimal. We will still be able to conquer the country as planned using our backup plan. Once we control the country, we will use their international influence to our advantage. The rest of the world will fall swiftly. As already stated, if our first plan doesn't go as smoothly as expected, we'll proceed with our secondary plan. By sending in our quote-unquote special forces, we will infiltrate the country from within. Fear and chaos will spread through the nation like a virus. Ironic. They'll, it'll only be a matter of time before the country loses its stability. At that time, when they're most vulnerable, we will strike. Rejoice, my brethren. The world shall soon be cleansed. That's gonna be a big old fucking yikes for me, dog. That's gonna be a big old fucking yikes from me, dog. All right, well, I don't know if this is like last, la last chance territory yet or not, but I think we're getting close. Welcome. Hey, Hit, I'm going to warn you right now, buddy. One of the things that I'm going to need an explanation on what are you when we get to the end of this game, because I'm very certain that I fucked it up at this point, is these fucking butterfly lamps and why I only ever got one red gem, but I got like 30 green, green ones. Um, I'm fairly certain I can still find the insignia for this crown. I don't think we're quite there yet, but I'm pretty sure. I know this treasure is done. I didn't, I, we, we definitely missed one treasure in the first part of the game. No questions asked there, but these fucking butterfly lamps are just what are you the fucking sand in my oyster, man. The unpearled sand in my oyster. They drive me absolutely batshit insane. What are you buying? So we're missing one firepower upgrade there. I'm actually missing quite a few upgrades on this. I'm sure the firepower. I want that. I, I'm gonna save. Yeah, I'm gonna save up enough cash that I can buy the firepower upgrade for the, um, for the strike gun, I think. Hit it to 10. Come back at a time. All right, I will, don't worry. And right now I have, I have three of these mixes and I'm gonna make a fourth one. So I'm doing pretty good on healing items. I got a shitload of grenades, mostly flashes. What I don't have a lot of uh, is bullets. Because we can load those away. We can load those away. And I guess, uh, well, actually, we 
can load those away. Yep. Could use some ammunition without having to spend a lot to get it. Maybe flashbangs plus kicks and knives would be a good way to start that mission off. Although... Something's not right. Ashley, you stay here. Okay. Ah. Uh. Ada. Wait. <laughs> try me, bud. <clears throat> Better try a new trick cuz that one's getting old. There it is. Super cool line number one. You okay? I've been better. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I think you know. The American prevailing is a cliche that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of cliches. Ada, stand back. Okay. Yeah, emergency. What does this arena even look like? Oh, okay. Well, I went the wrong way to start with. That's for sure. Make your way down here. Nice and slow, like. And. Oh, I think I whiffed. Oh, shit. These are on a timer. I didn't realize they're on a timer. I don't like it. Again? Oh. I don't think we can operate. We just gotta go. We just gotta go. Oh my god. That hurts so bad.
Not impressed. Not fucking impressed, dude. I guess the long and short of it is I'm not saving up for shit. It worked! Until he's close enough, I guess. Made the right call. Switched up the buttons on me, motherfucker. Yeah, I guess I could take hot shots at him. Hey there. Let's not spoil the surprise, buddy. Oh shit, I was I was on the right side, wasn't I? Yeah, I was. That's okay. I'm just gonna take the explosion. Oh, he's got more. Buddy, what's it gonna take for me and you to stop this? Huh? Oh, it's literally just one shot in the eye. Okay, this might not. This might not be as difficult. As I what is climb? Huh. That seems like it's probably pretty effective. What, now we just back up, wait for the eyeballs, and call it a day. Okay, he does get quite feisty. Oh, very feisty. What a feisty lad. Hello? Hello?
sure. I was. Yep. That's fun. Fuck, I should just shoot my eyeball right up the gate. And I might as well, like... Oops. Like, if you can get a Magnum shot and a stab in... He's coming for that booty. He's coming for that booty. Swing that shit around. Actually, uh, no, too late. Too late. Oh, I'm fucking dead on it. Get up, get up, get up. Get on the thing. Get on the push. Push the thing. Wow. None more hit points. Hey, four cycle. Hey, the rocket launcher. Shit, we should that. Okay. Good. Okay, yep, yep, get stabbed. Get, uh. I think the only reason I'm alive right now is because he turned around. Special rocket. Oh, no. Okay, hold on, rocket launcher. Hold on, boss fight. I need just like a second here to like. You just wait right where you are. I promise everything's gonna be chill. Don't go anywhere. Just gotta make a little bit of room. What if I discarded it? Um, I'm just gonna use that. There we go. All right, use this. The question is, oh no, the answer is Maybe you guys do the time. Come here, buddy. Nice and slow. No jumpies. No jumpies. Yep, I know. Stompy stomp. Soul man. The command land. Then we're just gonna go ahead. Here, use this. Oh, I don't. Okay, I really wanted it to go directly in that big mouth eyeball, but you know what? I suppose beggars can't be choosers. I'll take it. Let's 
Sorry, Leon. What did Hand you shoot? Ada, you do know what this is. Hmm. Leon, he's got an item. Don't worry. I'll take good care of it. Ada! Gotta go. Wait? If I were you, I'd get off this island too. She really pushed it. Oh, bitch. Here, catch. Better get a move on. See you around. Why does she hate me? I helped her last time, mostly. Very cute. <laughs> All right, well, jet ski key. All right, sure game. Why not? What's this? Ooh, big money. Time to go. Please don't still be flashing. Okay, good. Ursley, we gotta go. Leon. We have to get off this island now. It's gonna blow any minute. It's gonna what? Blow. He said blow. Are you familiar with what that means? Come on, I gotta make sure I catch her. Oh, hey, look, a jet ski. That's convenient. Hang on, sweetheart. Oh, oh, now, oh, no, this is, this can only end in my doom. I think we did it. I don't. Maybe not. Behind us. I know. Just hold on. I make it go faster. Oh, oh God! Oh Jesus! All right, all right. I'm gonna be honest. This is actually kind of cool. Make go fast. Can't see shit. I couldn't really see shit. No, I don't know how it looked on the stream, but like, I I couldn't really see shit either. The water effects are kind of mean there. I'm gonna have to watch that part Let's of the VOD back. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. Why would they so, give you- uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. Wow. Wow. I had 30 minutes. Dude, we should just finish this on Monday. Fuck. I had 30 minutes left. That's good. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, game done.
Now we're not playing five. We're not playing five. I was going to, but with with me potentially being gone for work next week, I don't want to start it and then be gone for a week. Are you really going to baby rage about it at me right now? I, I honestly, I have such mixed feelings about this Resident Evil because, like, on the one hand, the gameplay was absolutely far and above the best for the original versions of all the games. It was super fun. It was tight to control. Uh, some of the maneuvers that you could do were pretty cool and engaging. It had a good, a mostly good dodge system. Uh, yep, perfect time to see the credits. Honestly, the final boss wasn't that special, so you didn't... Besides how grotesque it was, honestly. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's 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 weird because, like, I do think I like this game, but I do not think that I like it better than one or two. And that's, I guess, with the benefit of the remade uh, RE1, because I never played OG RE1. But even OG RE2, I think, is better than this game. One major thing that I think is super interesting that this game really doesn't have or do much about is like, you just got home from work, welcome back, or welcome home, I suppose. Um, one thing that this game just like doesn't do at all, really, is like anything with like true monsters. Like some of the bosses are pretty monstery, but like, it's you're just basically fighting human shaped enemies the whole game. Twelve hours today? Oof. That's a lot. So I don't know, that's kinda weird. But it wasn't like bad. They tried to add some like variety to the to the humanoids that you're fighting, but honestly mostly it ended up boiling down to like, well you can't always shoot him in the head. Otherwise, you can kind of just always shoot him in the head. Wait, I... Oh. And again, is that you? Finally, the line's Jack free. She doesn't have her glasses, no glasses on. Forget the glasses. What's the status of the mission? I've rescued the subject. We're returning home. You did it, Leon. Thanks. You know, you're kind of cute without those glasses. Give me your number when I get back. May I remind you that you're still on duty. So are you. Story of my life. All right, give me my F. Give me my F and let me move on with my life. Died 46 times. Does it not grade you? Upload day to the leaderboards. Fuck. You can now buy an infinite launcher and Matilda from the merchant. Cool. Save. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did so poorly they didn't grade me. That's that's the story of my life. One half hour later. Yeah, so now I can do a new round on the clear game. Oh hey, a new loading a new title screen. What's in the extras? Separate ways? 
Uh, assignment Ada. Okay. The mercenaries. Movie browser. You know, if you really want to watch all those cheesy fucking lines all over again. Wait, chapter three, no data. Oh, there I don't there was only the eight movies in chapter three. Got it. Did I hit exit? Yeah, sure does. Well, this is the RE this is the PS4 version, so those could be that could be why. I'm not gonna watch the credits again, I'm just gonna skip it. Porting team. Yeah, this game has been ported. Oh, there's a professional difficulty. I see. Ah, I see. Okay. Alright, well, how did we do here? 47%. Okay, so yeah, sure. Clear the game on the highest difficulty level. Whatever. Turn the tables on... Vertigo, the right hand of Salazar. Oh, that's the guy who, if you explode him while he's frozen. Okay. Fire all the bottle caps. Boom. Ring the mysterious bell. Do not shoot the water. Summon the master of the lake. Don't rock the boat. Uh, I guess, like, don't get knocked out of the boat during that boss fight. Acquire all the costumes. Wait. That's it? There's only four other trophies? Why is it 47%? I guess because silver and gold are weighted more. That one is literally for shooting the water before you get on the boat. Are you serious? Incredible. Okay, well... I don't know how you get costumes. But, like, these would be so easy to do. Well, you'd have to do a whole... I'd have to do a whole other playthrough, but... By getting good? No, but I'm just saying, like, I literally didn't see anywhere to unlock the costumes, so let me, like... It's, it's, not, it's not a matter of good or not. I just literally don't know where to go to unlock the costumes. I already got the rarest achievement in the game, so I think I'm good enough at it, so you can fuck off, Slimmy. 9.1%. How about eat it? Even more rare than completing the game on professional mode. Get wrecked, Slimmy. All the bottle caps are mine. <sighs> and I did that shit after I skipped the first submission. Submission area. One costume is from beating the game. Oh, okay. The other is from beating separate ways. So there's two. So this is get two costumes. Shoot a bullet at the water before the boss fight. Blow up the frozen guy and then beat the game again. Two for Leon and two for Ashley. Oh, but is. But you unlock. One for Leon and Ashley for beating the game, and one for Leon and Ashley for beating separate ways. Yeah, they come in sets of two, so. Okay. What? What? Are, that's like a such a shit trophy list. Like, am I crazy? Isn't that a shit trophy list? Resident Evil 4. When do I get to choose the costume? Oh! Well, obviously, I want the special one, because I want to see what it looks like. That's why it doesn't have a plat. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's his RPD uniform. I, I'm not going to play long enough to figure out what Ashley's is. But that's cool. Um, Okay, so... I have... I have... 
like three questions, Jay hit. Question number one. Oh, hey, if you shoot the bird, it gives you money or it gives you something. Fuck the bird. Um, question one. What does saving the dog at the beginning of the game here actually do? He shows up during that the first time you fight one of the giants and just barks a lot. What did I did I miss something there? Yeah, but he didn't do anything. He just stood there and barked a bunch. Unless I'm crazy. Yeah, I guess I just needed to love him harder. There isn't even an achievement for getting all the treasures. That's it. That's... Okay, well... I guess I did it. It didn't feel like I did anything, but I guess I did it. Um, second question. How do you get the other colored gems for the fucking butterfly lamps? Is it actually for ki with by killing the bug people with different types of ammo? Because I killed most of them with the sh random drops. It's just random. There's no way to manipulate it, so I just got screwed. I just got screwed hard because they always drop greens. I killed every single one that I could kill in the video game and never got the other colors. Except for one red. I got one red one time. That's in that's so Oh, killing during attack animation. Oh. What's the, the so there must be a blue one. Wait, how the fuck do you I got mostly green. Which means I killed them while they were getting up, I guess. Blue is random and rare. Cool. Very cool. Very, very, very fucking cool. Was there anything, was there any other questions that I had? I think that there's only one guarantee in the entire game, but I didn't get, how is it guaranteed? I didn't get it. I didn't, I didn't, but, 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 am I bad at getting guaranteed things? Is that what you're telling me? I made a guaranteed thing unguaranteed because it's in the ceiling of a room in the castle. Oh. But not marked as a treasure on the treasure map. It's just a glowy that I missed. From the big giant hive. Oh. Was it destructible? I shot that thing a many, many, many times. And it didn't seem like it was going to die. Wow. Well. I guess I should have I should have kept shooting it. Didn't know. Hard to know at the time, I guess. All right, well. There also wasn't an achievement for getting max life on both your characters, which I thought was odd. But I could have. I definitely could have. I had the I had the stuff. Okay. What if I just needed to shoot one more time? Somebody go back and watch, review the tape. Check the tape. I probably did. I probably did, Slimmy. We all know how I, me and one hit point works. We all have conclusive evidence about what it's like when I have, am dealing with a thing that has hit points and how likely it is that that thing retains one of them. So, all right. Well, this was, a, I mean, it was a fun game. I'm sad that we have five and six next, but I'm excited to get to the other side of them at least. So, and do we have pretty concrete evidence that the RE4 make is actually on the way now as well? 
Is that 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 uh, post that you sent to me, Jay Hit? Is that what that's alluding to? You're not gonna do that because you don't care enough. Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. Very likely, yes, since the Leon dude just did milk cap for something, which makes sense. Okay, I already found it. Cool, 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 cool. cool. I, will, I will absolutely play that game. I will absolutely play that game when it comes out. Uh, and my honest to goodness sincere hope is they turn kind of the bones that this game has of, like, a, a pretty unique type of zombie, quote-unquote, story. Like, you know, the parasite's very different than the virus. The virus. Uh, the way that it can infect, like, you know, live targets and stuff like that. Like, that's... There's some really interesting concepts here. It just doesn't really get explored that fully. And it's not very scary. Like, this game... Absolutely least scary game so far. I did... It did make me jump a few times, but that was mostly because enemies just, like, have a tendency to appear right next to you when you don't expect it. And that was pretty much it. Or... Or, or there's... I mean, this game has literal quick time events in it that can be quite a shock the first time you see it you're like oh shit there's a fucking quick time event so but like as far as like the actual horror element of this game goes it was grotesque but i would not say it was horrific there's plenty of shit about this game that was like viscerally unpleasant to look at but i would not consider it horrific um whereas i i would say that you know re1 and most of two do a pretty good job of maintaining the horror elements and even the re3 make is um it's got some pretty it's got some pretty like spooky moments that are pretty intense and difficult to deal with so this game is just a bit of a laugh track honestly this game is a bit of a is is a bit of like uh if you would have told me that uh fucking uh like mst3k redubbed this game and uh and made the dialogue what it is and this isn't the original the game's original dialogue i would believe you uh because the <laughs> the dialogue in this game is kind of a joke yeah pretty typical cheesy 90s 2000s horror movie yep i would agree with that and i mean like that's fine it's just also very bizarre in a series that up until the last game before this one, RE3. Had, had, well, I guess that's literally only two games. I don't know when Zero came out, actually. Did Zero come out before or after this game? Did it come out around the same time as the RE1 remake? It probably did, didn't it? Just judging by the fact that, like, We've got some similar location shenanigans going on. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, so they had RE1, 2, and 3, and Code Veronica somewhere in there, right? RE0 was 2002. Okay. So they, so they did RE1, 2, and 3, and Code Veronica somewhere. I think probably after 3, but before the RE1 remake and RE0. Um, if, I just, if I just had to guess. Like, that's just me guessing. Um, and so, like... I mean, I guess I would I would say that zero, one, and two all have like a relatively consistent tone. Quite a few really bad spin-offs. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm counting Code Veronica, even though it's not like a numbered Resident Evil game, just because it does have some plot relevant stuff. Or well, I guess. Like, maybe one or two plot, <laughs> meta plot relevant things as far as, like, timelines and people's place, uh, people where they are in time and stuff like that, but. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, this game was fun, and it was fine. It just was not really what I was hoping for. Just like RE3 wasn't really what I was hoping for. As far as maintaining 
or or even branching out into new This game's cool because it branches out into new non straight up T virus zombie territory, which is neat, but um Poor Leon. I feel so bad for cool hair Leon and uh what they did to him. <laughs> So anyway, I think that's it. I think that's just gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and 